welcome back to chapter 11 of Strawberry Vanilla. Um, I hope you'll enjoy, and that's all I have to say. Strawberry Vanilla, chapter 11, Mopeds and Strawberries. So, how was dancing with your friend, Adrian? It was the next morning, and Marinette was talking on the phone with Alia, as per usual. Why do you do that? Do what? Alia replied. So how is dancing with your friend Adrian? Marinette mimicked. Alia just laughed at her friend, who stuck out her tongue. Anyway, if I had to describe it, I would say it was nice. Marinette said thoughtfully, ignoring the heart symbols Alia made with her fingers from the FaceTime screen. Anyway, I better go babysit my sisters, Alia said, rolling her eyes. Yeah, me too. I have some strawberries to pick up for the bakery. Okay, bye girl, Alia said, holding up a peace sign and then hanging up. Marinette headed down to the bakery, examining their fridge su and supply of ingredients. Hmm, it looks like we need some eggs and strawberries, but Mom's already out purchasing the eggs, Marinette said, mumbling to herself as she examined the contents of the fridge. Marinette, your mother already told you what to get, said Tom as he bounded into the kitchen, holding a mixture in one hand and a bowl full of batter in the other, which he must be in the middle of stirring. I know, Dad. I'll get go get them right away, Marinette said, pulling her attention away from the fridge. Marinette grabbed a small duffel bag, not looking where she was going, and tripped into their last container of strawberries that was once sitting on a counter and now had its contents strewn across the floor. Why am I like this? Marinette asked herself. All the more reason for you to hurry back with the strawberries, Tom said. His smile didn't falter. He knew his daughter was clumsy most of the time, but when she was motivated enough, even her clumsy instincts couldn't get the better of her. I'll be back with the strawberries, Dad, Marinette said, quickly picking herself off of the floor and hurrying out the door, duffel bag in hand. Oh, half a mile walk? Marinette asked aloud to herself, looking at the navigator. She looked up and found herself just outside of the grass ice cream shop. I guess I just stumbled here out of habit? Marinette thought. Well, ice cream couldn't hurt before doing some errands, Marinette said, allowing herself to indulge in the cold creamy dessert. Marinette walked into the store and instantly a familiar blonde looked up. His face racked with concentration, but it all melted away when he saw the familiar figure enter the shop. One strawberry ice cream, please? Marinette asked, smiley, leaning over on the counter, blocking her from Adrian. You know, you're the only one who orders strawberries, right? He said, a wide grin tugging at his lips. That's how you know it's me, Marinette said, smiling cheekily. Adrian just rolled his eyes playfully and made her ice cream. So what are you doing today? Marinette asked Adrian as he made her ice cream. Nothing much. What about you? I'm picking up some strawberries at the bakery. Ah, our competition. Adrian turned around just to give a small wink to Marinette quickly turning back so he didn't have a similar instance as last time he gave too much ice cream. Nope. He would not go around today with fingers sticking together like someone smeared glue on them. Yep, it's half a mile walk, Marinette said, a smile faltering. Half a mile? Adrian gasped, looking, talking a little more loudly than he should have. Yeah, but there's no room to complain because my mom's on a hunt to pick up some ingredients as well, Marinette said, sighing. Hey, I could drive you there, Adrian said. Uh, Adrian? Don't worry, I can take my break and I can drive you there. Adrian? 
It would be pretty fun, too. Adrian! Huh? What? Your hand, Marinette giggled. Adrian looked over at his hand, and sure enough, again, it was covered in ice cream that overflowed out of his container from his neglect. Never mind the ice cream, he said, shoving it away without haste. Um, I mind. I paid for that ice cream, mister, Marinette said, crossing her arms with a smile. I'll I'll pay you back. Just come on, Adrian said, grabbing hold of Marinette's arm with his clean hand. Hey, where are you going, buddy? Nino asked, a rampaged Adrian. I'm taking my break, he exclaimed, running out the door with a confused Marinette forced after him. I give that dude way too much freedom, Nino said, shaking his head in mock solemn. And that's the end. Hope you liked it and subscribe, like, you know, you get the gist. You've done it before, I hope. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!